When running ads on Facebook, it is very important to make sure your ads are showing up in front of the right audience because that's the only way you are going to get maximum results. And the way you achieve that is by targeting the right audience when setting up your ad. Now, when it comes to Facebook ad targeting, the method a lot of people are conversant with is using the detailed targeting option where you get to select the interest, the demographics, and the behavior of the audience you want to target. And if you've been observing the results from your ad, you already know that using detailed targeting is becoming less and less effective on Facebook. That is why in this video, I'm going to show you the three most effective audience type not a lot of people know about that you should be targeting with your Facebook ad in 2022 to get maximum results. I have tried these three different audience types that I'm going to show you on different campaigns with different products in different niches and they always work. But before we get into the main part of this video guys, if you are just coming to this channel for the first time, you're welcome. My name is Manuel and on this channel, I create videos about internet marketing, how to make money online and online business in general. And if you're interested in this type of videos, go ahead and smash the subscribe button right now to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so that I'll be the first to be notified anytime I upload a new video on this channel. And with that said guys, let's get into the main topic of the day, 3 audience types you should be targeting with your ads in 2022 for maximum results. The first audience type you should be targeting are people who have engaged with your business before. And this is very easy to set up if you've been doing business on your page, whether on Facebook or on Instagram, then you already have followers and people who have at one point or the other come in contact with your business either by engaging with your post, watching a video on your page or visiting your website or engaging with any of your previous ad. And the reason why targeting this audience segment is so effective is because these people already know you. Some of them would have even bought your products before. So showing them your ad simply means you are directing your ad at a warm audience. And if you want to target people who have come in contact with your business before, what you just want to do is to come over to all tools then go to audiences and here you'll be able to create custom audiences of your choice that you can target whenever you are setting up your ads so to create a new audience you just want to click on create audience click on custom audience then select the audience type you want to create you want to create a custom audience of people who have visited your website before so you could select website for that or you have people who have bought your product before you can upload their email list, their names, their phone numbers as a customer list here. Or you will create a custom audience of people who have watched a video on your page or people who have engaged with your Instagram account. Let's say I want to create a custom audience of people who have engaged with my Instagram page. I'll just select Instagram account or I want to create a custom audience of people who have engaged with my Facebook page. I'll select Facebook page and then click next. So you can select the page you want to use and then the particular event you would like to create a custom audience out of. So if you want to create a custom audience of everybody that has engaged with your page regardless of the type of engagement it could be them messaging you through messenger them reacting to your post then watching a video you can just select everyone who engaged with your page but you can see here that you can really play around with who you are going to have in your audience segment people like or follow your page people who engage with any post or ad people who click any call to action and all of these stuff usually if you want to have more people in this audience segment you should go for everyone who engaged with your page and the the fact is the more people you can have in your audience bucket the more effective your campaigns are going to be then how long do you want facebook to retain these people in this audience category so if you say you want to have them let's say for 21 days that means any ad you create targeting this custom audience they are going to be seeing your ads for the next 21 days from when they engaged with your page then you can include more people or exclude you can just give your audience a name let me just use page as a name you can add the description but that's very optional the name and the description is just to help you with recognition then i'll click create audience i'm going to click on done now you can go ahead and do this for people who have visited your website you can even target people who have visited a particular page on your website let's say you have a specific page for the product you're advertising you can target people who have visited only that page on your website now once you've created your custom audiences you can then come over to ads manager to set up your ad and when setting up your ad at the asset level 
you just want to come over to this point where you have audience then you can check for your custom audiences i can now select the custom audiences that i've created here's this page to target people in this custom audience i have just created then i also recommend you go ahead and check this advantage custom audience this was formerly detailed targeting expansion and this simply means if reaching people outside your custom audience is going to bring you more results you want facebook to go ahead and show your ad to those people outside the custom audience you've created then you can play around with the location and the age whichever way you want to and then just follow through with the normal ad setup and publish your ad the second audience type you could target with your ad is targeting lookalikes of your custom audiences. And the logic behind this is very simple. If Mr. A and Mr. B share the same interest, chances are whatever Mr. A buys, Mr. B will also likely buy as well. So that's what you are able to do with lookalike audiences. You are able to target people that look like the people who have taken the action you want. So the way you set this up is by coming back here to audiences and and then let's say I want to create a lookalike audience of people who have engaged with my page. Remember, that's the custom audience we just created. You can create a lookalike of people who have bought your product. You can create a lookalike of your customer list. You can create a lookalike of people who have watched a particular video. You can create a lookalike of people who have engaged with your ad in the past. You really have a lot of options you can work with here. So let's say I want to create a lookalike of this custom audience. I'll just select this and then you can click on these three dots. Then you click on create lookalike. Then here you want to select your lookalike source. That as the custom audience you want Facebook to work with. So I'm going to use the custom audience I just created. Then you select the location you want this lookalikes to come from. Let me use Nigeria for instance. Then you select the percentage lookalike. The lesser the percentage, the more the resemblance, you know. So if you want to have more people in this lookalike audience, you can just increase the percentage. But if you want the lookalike to be very close, you can just use 1% and then click on create audience. Now what you can do here is to target this lookalike custom audience and the way i use lookalikes is if i'm selling a product for instance and i've gotten a lot of people to buy that product in the past maybe 1000 people or 2000 people i create a custom audience of those who have bought the product and then create a lookalike and target the lookalike that way you are targeting people who look like the people who have bought your product you can do that with lead generation ads as well so you create a custom audience of your leads and then create a lookalike and then target the lookalike to reach more people who share a lot of similarities with the leads you've gotten in the past so to use this your lookalike audience you just come over to your ads manager again when setting up your ad at the ad set level if you scroll down to audience you are going to find the lookalike audience you've created right here so you can just select it and then show your ads to these people then you just go ahead complete your ad setup and publish your ad now if you are just starting out on social media or you are just a small business and you don't have a lot of data to use for your custom audiences and lookalikes you can actually populate your custom audiences so that you'll be able to create lookalikes of those audiences and you can do that using engagement ad and ordinary traffic ads where you get people to click on a particular link and then when they click on the link you have them in a custom audience and create a lookalike of that audience the third targeting method you should be using in 2022 is actually going very broad with your targeting and what you are basically doing with broad targeting is giving Facebook the freedom to get you the best result in which case you are not going to enter any specific custom audience lookalike or any detailed targeting here you just leave the audience segment blank although you can play around with the location if you want to target specific locations to add you can also play around with the age as well but with broad targeting you just allow Facebook do a bulk of the work for you and Facebook already know what your ad is about and Facebook knows its users and it basically understands the perfect match that will get you the best results and some of the most successful ads i've run in 2022 are broad targeted ads if facebook can match organic posts with the right audience then it can do that as well for your ad so going broad with your ad allows facebook to take charge of the targeting and then it tries to make sure that you get the best results for your money when it comes to deciding which of these three targeting types you should use for your ad what i recommend you do is to test you want to test to actually find out which of them will get you the best results and let me also mention that your targeting is not the only factor responsible for the success of your campaign 
experience even though who you are targeting is very important but the product you are advertising is also a factor your brand is a factor the funnel steps people will have to walk through to take the action you desire is also a factor so there are a lot of factors that really come together to create successful facebook ad campaigns and i cannot really cover all of them in this video so if you want to learn all my facebook ad strategies i recommend you get my full facebook ad course we are walk you through everything you need to know about running successful facebook ad campaigns on facebook and instagram this course is already helping hundreds of people with your facebook ads and if you want to learn everything you need to know to start creating super successful ads on facebook and instagram click the first link in the description of this video to get my full facebook and instagram ad course where i share all my facebook ad strategies you can use to take your business to the next level and if you use the link in the description of this video you are going to get a massive discount on this course that's all for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one